I must say I'm really lucky to have such an intelligent and clever man as Beerible as a minister in my court. Thank you, Your Majesty. In fact, I must say he is the most intelligent and clever man among all of us. You are right, Your Majesty. Beerible is the most intelligent and clever amongst us. Sukhdev Singh Ji, what's wrong? Don't you think I'm right? Your Majesty. I noticed you were quiet when I said Beerbal is the most intelligent and clever man amongst us. Tell me, don't you agree with me? Your Majesty, he may certainly be the best, but I don't know yet if he is. So I cannot comment upon it. What do you mean you don't know? Haven't you heard of all his exploits and seen his intelligence at work? Isn't that enough proof for you? Your, your Majesty, I... I... Well, let me tell you, I have tested Beerbal's intelligence and cleverness time and again. And he has proved himself over and over again. But if you still aren't convinced, I ask you to think of any challenge for him. And I know for sure he shall be able to meet it. Well, Sukhdev Singh Ji, have you any task in mind for testing Beerbal? Your Majesty, if Birbal is as clever as you say he is, then I have a task for him in mind. Yes, go on. Your Majesty, if Birbal can bring us the milk of an ox, then I shall accept that he is the most intelligent and clever amongst us. What? Milk of an ox? But how is that going to be possible? Your Majesty, if Birbal is as clever as you say he is, then no task should be out of his reach. And getting some milk of an ox shouldn't be that big a challenge for him. Hmm. Put it that way. I would like to see Birbal perform this task too. How about it, Birbal? If that's your wish, Your Majesty. Birbal, you mean you can actually perform this task? Your Majesty, if you really want me to do it, then I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. That's wonderful. I would really like to see how you do that. How much time do you need? Just one day, Your Majesty. I shall complete the task by tomorrow. Just one day? You are so confident. All right. I will eagerly await your presence in the court tomorrow then. at this hour. Uh, God! God! Your Majesty? How am I to sleep with this infernal noise in the background? What is happening? Go and stop that noise immediately! Yes, Your Majesty. Right away. Right away. Guard! Your, your, 
Majesty? I thought I asked you to stop that placid noise, didn't I? Who has been making this noise and why? Go and get that person here who has been creating this racket. Go! You, stop that. I thought you were asked to stop that noise and get out of here. Now you have made the emperor very angry. I'm sure he shall give you some very strong punishment. What punishment? Come along. Come on. Your Majesty, the culprit is outside. Bring him inside at once. Well, Your Majesty, the culprit is a young girl. Young girl? Well, she better have a good reason for disturbing my sleep at this hour, or else she shall be punished harshly. Young or old, girl or boy, whoever it is, bring her in here. Have you been disturbing my sleep? Weren't you asked to stop making that noise once? And how come you are not at home sleeping? Come on, speak up. And you better have a good reason for being out in the middle of the night and for disturbing my sleep at this blessed hour. Your Majesty, I'm sorry for disturbing your sleep. But I had to wash some clothes tonight. Wash clothes? And that too in the middle of the night? Yes, Your Majesty. My mother has gone to her father's place. My father has given birth to a child and I have to wash all these clothes tonight. Wait a minute. I don't think I understand you. You said your mother has gone to her father's place. Yes, Your Majesty. So, if your mother has gone to her father's place, then, then who has given birth? My father. I told you my father has given birth and I need to wash all these clothes today. Have you gone out of your mind? How can a man give birth to a child? Your Majesty, anything is possible in your kingdom. Haven't you heard? Ox have started giving milk. So why can't my father give birth to a child? Oh, all right. Now I understand. Well, you go home and sleep now, and let me sleep too. And do let Beerbal know that I understand I have been stupid. Guards, make sure this girl is escorted home safely and ask the cook to give her some sweets as punishment. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm sorry for being late, Your Majesty, but I had a very disturbing night. Some miscreant kept me awake all night making loud noises. <laughs> Your Majesty, it wasn't funny. I really had a terrible time last night. I couldn't sleep a wink. Every time I would doze off, the noise would start again. <laughs> So Dev Singh Ji, that noise was of the ox giving milk. You remember the task you set for Birbal? Let me explain. So you understand Sukhdev Singh Ji, 
By giving this impossible task to Birbal, you have invited trouble for yourself. I suggest you accept defeat. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to have come late, but I overslept. <laughs> Birbal, you have no peers. The ox's milk was excellent. Thank you very much, Birbal. Thank you very, very much. Birbal, I take my words back. You are certainly the most intelligent in our kingdom. Thank you. Thank you very much.